Trey. I knew coming up with this alliance with you, <laughs> we was gonna get it done. You know, we knocked them out. You know, knocked that head out. Took that old game out. Y'all, I'm still here. I'm be honest with you. I don't know for how long. I'm. I'm be. I don't know for how long. I'm. At, I feel like. I feel like Vegeta. When, when Goku beat the Bombu, man, like, you know, you just gotta confess, like, man, they, like, he's the best. But I ain't gonna confess them yet. They ain't that, they ain't that good, but they pretty good. So now, it's two of them. Only one of me. Now I gotta listen to help for myself. And it sounds like I need to, I didn't make a phone call, man. I need to call. Who you gonna call when you need your hustle right? I don't know what this emergency meeting for, but. T, what's up, man? Johnny! <laughs> I thought Will was dead. From what I was seeing, I thought Kiara got rid of Will and she left. So now I ain't even. I can tell people what Kiara because she ain't in trouble, right? How the hell are you getting Tan's office? Oh, I made a copy of his key. But uh, that's beside the point, man. Listen, uh, have a seat, bro. Have a seat. Now. I know you're busy, doing a lot of things, you know what I'm saying, you get you, you, you H-U dollar sign thing going, and I, and I can appreciate that, coming from a person who also like dollar signs. Um, but, I need your help, bro. Mr. Hustlemania himself, Johnny Hustle. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to get my hosting thing back, bro. Well, you ain't never asked for nobody help. I know, but I'm asking you, because I feel that I can come to you as a brother in arms, man, mad game arms. I thought you was dead. Oh, about that. So, uh, they thought they killed me. But well, I, I never, I ain't never drink it. You mean Will's not dead? So as y'all may or may not know, Karen then went to Mexico because she thought she actually killed Will. Which is sad because it would have been a perfect excuse, you know what I'm saying? Because it wouldn't have figured it was me. It would have thought it was her and all her concoctions, you know what I'm saying? When you try to kill somebody with poison, you want to make sure you get water-soluble ingredients, you know what I'm saying? You want to make sure when you drink it, that digest is like water, and that water really pushes it through their arteries, and then it really, you know, gets to their heart and where it's meant to be, you know, so they can die, like, you know, like... Because that's how you would have failed when the drug was like, don't you? You know what I'm saying? That's how you really want to do it, but... Her retarded ass and went to Mexico thinking he did and it's alive. He just walked by the room before I walked in here, man. Just, just you never send a woman to do a man's job. You feel me? Like I was, I was better off just strangling, you know what I'm saying? Dear Lord, I come here today as a humble servant of you, Lord. And I have come here because I have no complaints, Lord, of what you have put on this good green earth. No complaints whatsoever. Other than Miss Patty. <laughs> now, Lord, we all know Miss Patty have been going through some weight changes over the last couple of decades. And Lord, I don't know why or what has gotten her to believe that she is a size small. But we know, Lord, that your will is your way, and I know you will convince her that she is three sizes too small. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, because I have no complaints, Lord. None. None, except for the fact that I keep calling her Miss Patty Milk, because she looks like rap sausage, Lord. Can you please, please help her, Lord? Just help her. Thank you, Lord. Cause Lord, I know you will answer every prayer that's out there, every prayer that's out there, Lord. And I ask that you hear mine, because this is what I've seen at the church, Lord. I've seen Tammy come into the church with a new little knucklehead every week, Lord. And I ask you, Lord, because I know how holy and saved she is. But, Lord, I just ask you, can that hope be saved, Lord? Because there's a different dude Every time that comes in, I swear, Lord, because I keep calling him Benjamin, and one of them ended up being Franklin, and they was not trying to make no money drops, Lord. They was arguing the whole time in the church, Lord, and it has distracted me from your lesson from the preacher. I done tuned in to who Benjamin Franklin was, and oh, she can shake a money maker, that Tammy, Lord, and I just ask you to help her, Lord. Just help her. And Lord... 
I really, we need healing to come into our church, Lord. We need real healing to come into our church, Lord. Because Sister Justine, Lord, Sister Justine has been suffering and the church has been suffering with the Lord. Because Sister Justine has been suffering with that halitosis for a while, Lord. And you know that the prayers have been coming up because I know that smell has been coming down at the end of service when she is closing out, Lord. And I am just wondering if you can just cure her of that stink mouth disease, Lord. And Lord, I know that. I would never, ever, 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 I promise I would never, ever ask for nothing again. And Lord, as you know, I have never prayed for myself. I only pray for the community. So Lord, can you please do this for me? Amen. With the rise of racism and peace being taken from the world, it leaves a person to wonder what's going on in the world. Sadly, these things are not going away. Read The Dog Whistleblower to find the link between racism and the coming Armageddon. What's up, this is your girl Megan Good and I want to give a shout out to Mad Game ENT. That's why I tell you, you know what I'm saying, if you go put milk in your belly button, uh -huh. make sure you pull it from the bottom to the top, right, so not the top to the bottom. That's how you get skin red. Well, what type of straw you use when you suck in the milk out the belly button? I do it raw. I don't use raw. You know, can I, you know, I, can I please I get a I beef and cheese? We gon' make some noise. I ain't turning off. I'm gon' turn you on. I'm gon' clean you, but we gon' do whatever you like. Oh, baby, I'm gon' turn you out. You gon' turn me on. Time to have some fun. Ain't no stopping now. It's that dark chocolate. Ooh, I like it. And I see that heat really bring out that skin tone. Yeah, they say chocolate melt your mouth and not your hands. That's right. I'm about to go lick a pole. Come on, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, can I help you? How you doing? Hey, listen, my name is Trey Miles. They call me Trigger for short. Yep. No relation. Hey, listen, we saw you walking, and I just think it's best in your best interest that you go ahead and give me your number. Because, girl, you looking good. Why, you why, why are you walking up on my car like that? Because you sexy. Because yeah. when I make it drizzle, I put it like on some pancakes. <laughs> you oh, <okay>. see. <laughs> Excuse me? Hey. hey why are y'all coming up to my car like this? Because you sexy. Did my man say that already? Thank you, but look, this is creepy. Girl, you know what go good with chocolate? What go good with chocolate? Caramel. Uh, mm. What are you? Hey, girl, you smell good. Look, I'm going to go ahead and cut to the chase. You know what I'm saying? You look good, all right? You look real good. And I like you. And I want you. So look, we can either do this the easy way, or we can do this the hard way. The choice what? is yours. Hey. Really? You know? Hey, hey, sir. All right. What you mean the hard way? That is a young lady, sir. Huh? Now do you want me to break my other foot off in your behind? Respect the young lady, sir. You're lucky she already opened up conversation to talk to you. Look, you got your chair hat on, but ain't gonna be no hard way around here. That's a respectable young lady. Man, this dude serious? Man, you see this dude, man? One leg do, try to push authority. <laughs> like he running something around, man, I'll beat the... You gonna beat what? Boy, you couldn't beat me if I gave you the lotion. What's wrong with you, huh? You think it's a game? Huh? It's not a game, sir. It's not a game. I'm not playing with you. Try, you gonna let him talk to you like that, man? Man, pull the braids out his head, yellow man. Don't let him talk to you like that. He ain't nobody. Speaking of braids! Speaking of braids, what was your brain when you stick your head in this? Huh? Huh? This is my damn party you talking about. You know why he ain't got no legs? Cause like I got the other one over here, I'm gonna get it in your ass. You, you ain't nothing but trash, nigga. Huh? What I'm telling you? Yeah! What did I say? They enjoy fight back. I mean, you gonna let this happen? Call the police or something. Well, I guess they is police or something. We really is in the wrong, but we don't deserve this though. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm talking about? Hey, but anyway, like, hey, one time my mama went to the store and stuff.
Hair Artifice Salon is professional, affordable, and waiting for you. Give us a call or schedule online for the five-star look for less. Hey, yo, this D1, the one-man army. Better act like you know, Mr. I hope they hear me. Shout out to Mad Game Entertainment. Yeah. So now we got the play going. Man, I got, I got my boy HU Bodyguard in the building right now. So he about to, he about to watch them. So now y'all can watch me. You know what I'm saying? Eyes on me. I ain't Tupac, I'm, I'm, I'm Will Pop. All right, the host now, hold on. So, ah, welcome to season eight of Laugh Now, Laugh Later. Ooh, that sounded good, boy, that sounded good. Y'all saw it, y'all heard it, y'all heard it. Yeah, yeah, I'm out here now. I'm out here, I'm back, man. I'm, 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 I'm here now. They, they gone, man. H hustle gone, you know. Y'all see the arms? He on, he on, he on, boom. You know what I'm saying? He on, he on. He went, yeah. <laughs> Let me get a cold freak out of his cup. And I plug, they got money in this thing. All I need is one dream from you. <laughs> now see, Trey, I work out with Trey. <laughs> and I know his legs weak as hell. Y'all see all his muscles up here. <laughs> but see, if you put something on his legs, you got it. Thirsty, I'm thirsty. Scales, you gotta be working since I started in this thing, right? Refresh, recycle, repeat. Give it back. The cheddar? You see that? God, I have a lamp, God. have a lamp. Trey didn't tell me that Will didn't die is so messed up. Like, how are we gonna be in an alliance? How are we gonna take down the host and replace him when you, you're not, you can't steal information from me? What type of secret spy stuff is that, huh? I'm out here in the third world country living my absolute worst life and then, and then, oh, Consuela, no, 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 no. This, this isn't a Miami Vice. This isn't a Miami Vice. I need a Miami Vice. Okay. Yeah, you can take it back. Gracias. And see, Kiara, as long as you're talking to complete sentences, she, she, she bamboozled. So I just, as long as you keep your, your predicates and your subjects together and you have something in it, but you know what I'm talking about. It's gonna be uh, Trey Les Miles. That's what it's gonna be. He's gonna be out there like, <laughs> like that. And, uh, and, and, and Ki, and ain't no air in Kiara. How you gonna breathe with no Kiara? No Kiera, no Kiera. Yeah. What you can't walk or something? Come on. I'm trying to play, man. I know my dog won't play me like that. I know my. What you can't knock on the door or something? What's up? There, come on, man. Open the door, dog. All right, all right. I'm coming. I'm coming. Come on, Jake. What y'all doing here, man? Right, man. What's up, man? I'm about to get to the bottom of this. I'm real talk. I'm real aggravated. What? Man, look, keep it G with a G, man. Did they just try to sleep with you? Man, I knew this was gonna come up. All right, yeah, she did, but I told her no. You know, I would never try to ruin our friendship like that. I, I told not you. Do that. I told you. Look, shut up. So she tried to sleep with you, and you wasn't gonna say nothing? Yeah, I told her. Tell the truth, girl. You Darryl. still talking? So, you told her to be quiet about it? Yeah, I told her not to say anything. You see? Man, stop talking. I thought we was boys, bro. I thought, why I gotta confront you with this, man? I know, I know, and I'm sorry. Look, you know I would never do anything to jeopardize our friendship or ruin your trust. You're like a brother to me, Jay. And I, you know I wouldn't do you like that. Wait, why not? That's what I want to know. Why not? The hell you mean, why not? Because you, wouldn't know, you don't want to rip my girl? Why not? Why you wouldn't smash my girl? Was she beneath you or something? 
No. Hold up. Bro, are you trying to tell me you mad because I didn't smash your old lady? Yes, I'm mad you didn't smash my old lady. What? You you <laughs> should want to rip my old lady. I mean, you think I don't deserve to deal something? Wait a minute. Hold up. Dog, are you listening to yourself? Your girl just told you she's tried to sleep with your best friend behind your back. Wait, behind my back? It was my idea. I told you he think he better than you. What? Wait, dog. Just because my girl ain't go to college and she a cashier, a high neighbor, and a bartender at Playboys, what, you think she below you or something? <laughs> no. Dog, listen to me. I didn't smash your girl because she's your girl. I mean, what type of friend would I be if I smashed your girl? A loyal one? You what? tell him, boo. He ain't loyal. What? Are you serious right now? Dead serious, man. Nah. I'm saying like what? I'm, I'm too fat. I'm too skinny. I'm too bright. Uh, My booty too small. I mean, what is Are you just scared to come get this jelly? No, Deja. I'd hit it. I told you I'd hit it, but I wouldn't. Well, just rip it then. Dog, why do you want me to smash your girl so because bad? Because that's what we do, man, and I just smash those girls. What? You smash my exes? Some of them. Keisha, Darnisha, what? Shaquita, Maya, Kathy. Dog, how could you? That's what we, we boys, man. That's what we do, man. We share everything. Remember we had didn't have enough money to get the Jabot outfit, and yeah. you bought the jacket, and I bought the pants? Yeah. That's something like that. No, this is nothing like that. Nothing at all like that. This Better is... idea. Remember we went to the classic and we had them two freaks? Uh -huh. The one that had one condom and I let you go first? Yeah. yeah. But that's what this like, man. I insist. Yo, I'm sorry. Are you gonna get this little yeah or what? Look, I'm sorry. That ain't me. I can't do it. I can't do it. Man, look. If you don't rip my girl, we ain't friends no more. And I'm not the best man in your way. What? So it's like that? Definitely like that. What you looking at? Look at this. What you gonna do? I'm all right, all right, all right. Damn it. Fine. I'll rip your girl. So you gonna rip her? Yes. I'll rip your girl. <laughs> so glad, bro. I already bought my tuck for your way. Check this out. I'm going to run some errands. Well, it's not really Aaron's. I'm going with my cousin's wife. So y'all got about two hours. Baby, take it easy on them. Okay. Don't use everything out the party bag, though. I got gotcha. you. Have fun, big dog. Wrap it up. No, this is crap, Jay! So how you want to do this, Deja? You want to watch a movie or... Boy, come up here and get this cheetah. Cheetah? That's a big cat, ain't it? Phoenix Air Spa provides its customers with a soothing environment. Incomparable professional services. And extraordinary results. Relax, recharge, and re-emerge anew at Phoenix Air Spa. Always aesthetically you. What's up? This your people, Manny Fresh, and you watching Mad Game Entertainment. You heard me? Don't change that. What's up, people? Welcome to this week in sports with J.K. Lee. Y'all having fun? Because I know I am. Y'all know I love the camera.
But anyway, it was a huge week for sports in the 225. So let's get right to it. The first game took us to Dutchtown where the Griffins battled the McKinley Panthers. Dutchtown entered the game coming off back-to-back -back losses. They have been looking a little shaky in recent weeks. But as long as they got number seven and number 21, they will always be competitive. Senior running back Baylor Langua kicked off the scoring for the Griffins with a two yard run for a score, giving his squad a seven to nothing lead. University of Tennessee commit Dylan Sampson looked at his teammate Baylor Langua and said, whatever you can do, I can do better. Man number 21 scampered in for a 14 yard touchdown run, giving the Griffins a 14 to nothing lead halfway through the first quarter. But hold up, hold up. The Panthers wasn't going away that easy. Royce Handy put McKinley on the scoreboard when he intercepted a pass and took it back 15 yards for a pick six. Y'all know I love them pick sixes. But then, Baylor Langor proceeded to go on a terror. He scored two more touchdowns, putting the game out of reach. The Griffins rolled in this one, 41 to six. It was a must win situation for Dutchtown and the Griffins got the dub. Way to go, fellas. The next game featured two 5A powerhouses, the Zachary Broncos and the Skylandville Hornets. As y'all remember, I picked the Zachary Broncos to win this game, even though it broke my heart. And unfortunately for the Hornets, early on, it looked like I was right. The Broncos jumped out to a 24 to nothing lead behind the player Texas A&M commit Eli Holstein and ULL commit Charles Robinson. But I know the Hornets very well. Man, they wasn't gonna tuck their tails and run. They just ain't built like that. They gonna stay and fight. And plus they have this guy named Chance Williams, also known as Lamborghini Deuce. And this dude is fast. I'm talking fast, 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 fast. <laughs> he hit Zachary with a 75 yard kickoff return for a touchdown that gave the Hornets some life. Lamborghini Deuce added a 27 yard touchdown reception from quarterback Zay T. Set. But man, it wasn't enough. As the Zachary Broncos rolled the victory behind solid defense and two touchdowns by Cameron Stewart. In the end, Zachary got the dub 48 to 32. Man, they still undefeated. Man, them Broncos scary. Now it's time for my favorite part of the show. JK Lee Sports Crystal Ball Prediction. Man, I already know the Liberty Madness student section gonna be cutting up when the Bad Lab Bengals come to town. I'm really nervous about this pick because I'm real good friends with Coach Wade at Bad Lab and Coach Trust Clad Liberty. Man! I'm gonna go with Coach Wade and the Bad Lab Bank. I, th that's who I'm going with. Now look, y'all better not embarrass me. Y'all better show up and do y'all did it. Well, that's it for this week. Always remember to follow me on all of my social media platforms. JK Lee Sports, holla. Hey babe, it's time. Decisions made can affect lives for years. It takes a special individual to see all sides of a matter to offer guidance to everyone involved, and to structure a solution for the future. After a decade of handling civil, family, and estate cases in multiple parishes, I'm offering to find solutions. Paid for by the Erica Green for Judge Committee. Yo, this your boy Benzino, a.k.a. Zeno Grigio. And right now, you're checking out Mad Game TV. I'm out here living life like, like a bum near a beach, and he's out here, out there doing whatever Trey does. Oh, damn. I'm sorry, you were fast. Thank you. <laughs> what is this? Mm. Now that's what I call a Miami Vice. Uh -huh. Damn, they fast up here and make go. But, uh uh. Mm mm. Trey, I can't. Good. I can't live in this devastating. I'm gonna have to come back to the States. Because I feel like this was just a plot to get me out. I feel like Trey was trying to plot to get me out of the state so he could try to take my place, but <laughs> this alliance over. If you ain't know, the alliance is over. It's done. It's dead. It's dead. I'm gonna have to kill two when I get back. Damn, that's some good ass Miami advice. Trusted. 
Well, <laughs> see you uh, still rolling around. Indeed. You wouldn't happen to know anything about the ambush that attacked me, huh? Huh? Because I was standing by a cold drink machine, Will, and I was thirsty. I put a quarter in there and nothing came out, Will, and all of a sudden my leg got attacked. And now I'm sitting here like a paraplegic, you feel me? In the wheelchair, Will. Huh? I wish I had the answers, but I don't. I ain't got the answers, Will. I, all I can say is that, you know, you need to chill that, that coke machine, bro. It, it, it's bad for your legs. You know what's bad for you, Will? I wish I had legs to move, I'd kick your ass. Well, I, I can see, I, I, I'd love to see that, actually. I would love to see you try to, are you trying to, you know. Leave me alone, Will. Are you trying to Austin Powers this thing right now? Like, you trying to speed off? You, you can't, you can't. <laughs> Listen, Trey, Trey, okay, listen. Ah! Yeah, 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 yeah! You got me, get up! <laughs> season 8. This is Season 8. This is Season 8. This is Season 8. Ah! <laughs> 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 Can't believe you got me doing this. I'm a hustler, man! I don't do stuff like this! I know, I, I appreciate it, bro. I appreciate it. Thank you. Hey! Hey, thank you. I can't go to real jail. I know, I know, but you know, don't worry. Look, look, you ahead get, get the bus out. He got enough air for the rest of the season. Oh, uh, there's a vent in here somewhere. Yeah, yeah look, there's a vent. Tell me straight. Uh, yeah, you go ahead and get out of here. I want you to you know what I'm saying. Cash out me my money. I got you. I got you. I'm, I'm a cash out you, bro. I'm a cash out you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm sorry, Trey. Yeah. Laugh now, laugh later. Season eight. With who? Me. <laughs> you don't see it. <laughs> Where <Where's> at? <laughs> yeah, that, that, that bus leg. <laughs> I can feel. I can feel my knees. Somebody help. Help me, please.